guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be a Bella Box unboxing. This arrived yesterday. Um, so I thought I'd try and film it fairly quickly. Um, so, normal box opening. I did have a quick sneaky peek yesterday um, because there was one particular thing that was they told us about beforehand that everybody was getting. Um, but I'll do that one last. So, the um, first thing in here, like they give us a nice little cardy thing. This one says Future Proof. Um, yeah. So, the first thing is this weird little black packet with the word prep on it. And according to this, this is the Prep Bod Prep original rice scrub and soak based on the traditional historical traditions of Chinese medicine prep bod brings you a super fine rice scrub that will see your skin looking brighter and feeling softer can be used as both a bath soak or a unique exfoliant in the shower okay never heard of it uh, be interesting it's quite uh, solid Apparently for 200 grams it is $15.95. There is no weight on this, so I have no idea how much it is. There's no other information on here. Although one good thing with Bellbox now is they have an ingredients card. So the ingredients for this particular thing are written right there and they all look like basically very organic type stuff. There's even uh, Himalayan pink sea salt in it. Um, okay, so the second thing is from Cetaphil. This is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser designed to work for all skin types. For one litre it is 25.70. This is 30 mils. So basically just a cleanser. My under eye area is looking terrible. Next we have a little bonus. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree 3 in 1 Wash Scrub Mask. Uh, yeah. So it's a wash, a scrub, and a mask. There actually are no directions on here, um, as this is just a sample. Um, and I don't know how much it normally is, because that is actually not written on here. Then, we have a fragrance. This is from Estee Lord. This is the Bronze Goddess. Reminisce on your sun-drenched summer getaway and keep the memories alive with Estee Lauder's Bronze Goddess Eau Fresh Skin Scent. The scent has a creamy heart of golden amber with notes of citrus for a mouth-watering sensation. 50ml of this is $95. And this is 1.5ml in a little spray bottle, which is good because... How I like it. Um, I can sort of smell the citrus note. It's like a an orangey citrus note. Um, it's it's nice enough. Um, I'm not a hundred percent convinced, but it'll it'll be nice to try it out. The second to last thing in here is a bit meh meh, but um, this is the e.l.f. Uh, sun, -kissed, sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. Uh, this retails for $6 in Australia. Uh, yeah. It's... This is one of those kind of items that you could just pick up from the shops yourself and that kind of annoys me that they're putting it in a beauty subscription box. I'd rather get stuff that I can't just get anywhere else. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, probably 
bit too golden for my taste. But uh, yeah, and it's yeah, as it's a bit of a meat meat type of thing. It's kind of like a almost a throwaway, which is a little sad actually. The last thing is the thing that everybody got one of, and it was probably the thing that most people were the most excited about. Everybody got an item from ColourPop or a lips item from ColourPop. Um, some people got, um, I think, the lip gloss type ones. Um, I got an ultra matte lip. I know LS really, really likes these. <laughs> um, yeah, it doesn't actually tell me on here how much they actually cost, but they're supposed to be, you know, like five, between five and ten dollars American or something. Um, I haven't actually bought from them because I don't like paying postage if I can avoid it. So the colour I got is Fresh Cut, which, like, I'm thinking it's this kind of colour. It's this colour. Like, it's actually not a bad colour. Hang on a sec. I've got a tissue here. I figured I'd try it out. Except I have to use the uh, viewfinder to try it on because I don't have a mirror. Probably not a colour I would have picked for myself. I just grabbed my mirror so I can have a proper look. Wow, the application is terrible. <laughs> so it happens when you don't use a mirror. So it's quite a nude colour. I mean, it's not terrible. It doesn't look awful. Um, but yeah, probably not a colour that I would have picked for myself. Um, if I mean, I probably would have picked something more like that. Like if it had been that colour, like that really kind of um, more ready kind of colour, it probably I probably would have liked it more. But it's okay. And I've never tried Colourpop before, so and I can feel it drying down, like at the moment. Um, it is like you can you can feel the dryness of it, which is what you expect from a matte lip cream. But they are supposed to last a really, really long time. Um, so um, it's basically already dry. And it doesn't really a little tiny mark, but that's basically from the inside of my lip. So yeah, it's, it's not too bad. I'm not hugely upset. Um, so all in all, really the only thing that was any kind of good in the box, if you want to call it that, is the ColourPop lippy, and it's less than the price of the actual box. So, um, yeah, value-wise, this box is probably a little bit on the low side. Um, I'm happy to have a ColourPop lipstick to try out. Um, the, the bronzer, I, I could basically do without. I mean, apart from the fact I'm super duper pale anyway. Um, the fragrance, I'm not a really big fragrance person, but I will use it eventually and I'm sure it will be fine. The scrub I will probably use at some stage, the um, face wash, whatever it is, probably use that at some time. Same with the Cetaphil. This is where it gets a little annoying is when you get two of basically the same product. And then this one is another 
cleanser, but it's a body one instead. So it's not, probably not the best box, but it's certainly not the worst box I've had. It's probably slightly better than a couple I've had in the last, like this year so far. So yeah, um, that was it for my Bella box for May. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, leave me a thumbs up. If you like unboxing type videos and leave me a comment down below, I try to respond to all comments. And I'll see you in my next video. See ya.